how to implement function chaining in JavaScript. The function chaining is a really interesting concept and you can implement that by either working with an object or with a class. So in this case, we are going to implement a class called calculator, which should contain a value, let's say by default it's zero. And then what we have is let's say an add function, which accepts an argument. And here we could say number. And what would happen in this case is that we'll just do this dot value plus equals to num in this case. And then we are going to return this. Now this return, this is essentially the chaining. So I'm going to copy paste this code a couple of times for other functions. For example, for multiply, divide and subtract. Now I can basically create a calculator called calculator equals new calculator. And then I can simply say console.log calculator dot add. And here we can essentially say something like two. Then I could say add here. We can add five, which means it would be seven. Then we could say multiply. And here we can say, for example, seven, which should result in 49. So if I run this function, let's see what happens here. You can see that we get the calculator and the value 49, which is what we actually wanted. And if you wanted to do this for just an object, you could also do it just like this. You could basically say const calculator instead of this and equals instead of the class, you would just have to put comma just like this because of all the properties in this object and also make sure that you're using the colon instead of equals. And once I run it, all should be good. You should see the value as well. And that's how you would implement function chaining JavaScript. If you found this video useful, follow me for more.